upon drawing out its first requirements, it took the LCA Tejas 18 years to take to the air. In the same vein, the HAL Dhruv took 13 years to fly and 23 years to be inducted. For terrestrial machines, the Arjun tank was envisioned in 1974, the first prototype was delivered in 1989, and the first tank was inducted in the Army after another 15 years in 2004. Delays in defence projects is a global norm and is perhaps more pronounced in India. But in a very, very welcome move, it has been announced that the Zorawa light tank will be tested later this year. Well, What's the welcoming news? The requirement for the tank was first announced in August last year. Yes, it hasn't even been a year. A prototype of this tank would be ready for trials in the high Himalayas later this year. The tank will take fewer months than the Arjun took years in the prototype development phase. But in a world where technical terms such as heavy armour have entered common parlance, what is the need for a light tank? Well, the army thinks it needs a lighter, more agile tank for the higher reaches of the Himalayas, where Indian and Chinese soldiers sit eyeball to eyeball since 2020. More, a lighter tank will also be more easier to transport from one theatre to another via surface transport or via air, as it is expected to weigh around 25 to 30 tonnes. The tank will also pack a punch as it will be armed with a 105mm gun, which is the global benchmark for light tanks. The tank can also be used in areas where heavy tanks can't operate, such as the run of Kutch or marshy areas. The army has successfully used light tanks in the past in a variety of theatres, from the use of the Stuart light tank in the high Himalayas, notably at the Zojila Pass in the First Kashmir War in 1948, and the masterful use of PT-76 light tanks by 45 cavalry in the Battle of Garipur in 1971. Light tanks proved to be the battle-winning factor in both these battles. The tank will also be India's answer to the Chinese Type 15 light tank, which has been deployed in eastern Ladakh by our neighbour. India currently fields the T-90 and T-72 main battle tanks in the super high altitudes of Ladakh and Sikkim. Both these tanks weigh over 45 tonnes. At the end, it's just heartening to know that an Indian defence project is seen fructifying at this speed and hopefully will set a new template for defence projects of the future. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today News Mode.